What is up everyone? Today we're going to do something that probably nearly every geek has done, but it's something that I've never ever done before. And uh, it might be quite shocking to you guys, but I've never had the chance to really do it. I've never thought about doing it. But as you guys know, yesterday I stripped down that old HP PC and this Samsung drive came out of it. Now I've got a load of old hard drives hanging about, but this is just, you know, close to me at the moment um, because I just stripped out that PC. So I thought today I'll do something that I've never done before, and that is open up a hard drive and take a look inside for myself. Now I may have done this in the past, um, just messing about years and years ago, but I can't remember ever doing it and actually, you know, really taking a good look inside. So this isn't going to be a, a um, you know, a crazy good video or anything, but what we are going to do is take the cover off this drive and then uh, power it up with the power supply that I took out of that computer, just so I can see it spin up and stuff. I've seen it in videos, but I want to see it in person. So um, to take this drive apart, you need a Torx screwdriver, so I've got one here, and basically I'm really excited to do this. Now, it may, may not be interesting to a lot of you guys, you guys may have done it loads in the past, but I've never done it. So I thought, you know what, I want to have a look in this drive and I might as well share it. I normally do quite a fun video on Friday, something that isn't, you know, too groundbreaking, but pretty fun. So I thought I'd go for it. So this is your basic IDE drive. It's actually made by Samsung. I haven't come across many of these drives at all. Normally I get old Western Digitals or Maxter drives in uh, old PCs like that. But this is a Samsung. We may as well just begin by taking it apart right now. Now of course, I wouldn't take out my two terabyte black and do this to that drive. Um, it's really not a good idea to take a hard drive apart and it's doubtful that it'll ever work again, of course, because of how sensitive they are. Now, I am not a hard drive expert by any means, guys, not at all. Um, you know, my computer knowledge is good enough to, to put a system together and whatnot, but in terms of fixing the other components, you know, actually looking into components, you know, if, if your hard drive breaks, I would I would not be confident enough to try and fix it. I know a lot of people um, on YouTube do give that a go themselves with uh, varied success in, in results. Um, but I'm just curious to take these six screws out and have a look inside. So this is an 80 gigabyte IDE hard drive. I assume it's about 10 years old, maybe a little bit less than 10 years old, maybe eight years old, something like that. Probably one of the last um, considering the PC it came out of, probably one of the last IDE drives Samsung did, I have no idea. But there are those six screws taken out, and now I assume that the drive will literally just come apart. Now it looks quite loose, let me take a look at the frame, can you guys see? You can hopefully see. It looks quite loose, so can I just pry it open? Or are there screws on the underside that I need to take off? We will soon see, guys, we will soon see. So like I say, I'm absolutely no expert at all. I'm really not an expert. Um, but yeah, it looks like this is just gonna pry off. Maybe held on by something else. I'm gonna take off these couple of extra screws on the PCB underneath, because they may be, they may be holding it together. Man, they're tight. So they probably are. Now I can't remember if I've said this or not, but if I've got any, any clueless people watching my videos, then please don't take out your hard drives and do this. It's really not a good idea. Um, once, you, once you've basically unscrewed your hard drive, it's knackered. Unless you really know what you're doing or you get lucky. Um, so, I assume... Here we go, it feels loose. It does feel loose. Let's take out the other screws just for the hell of it. We'll take all the screws out. And if the whole thing comes to pieces, then it'll be even more entertaining. I am actually quite excited to see this spin up in person, guys. Um, when I plug it into the power supply, I'm really excited. Because I've seen it on videos, but you know, seeing it in person is, is better. And it's such a nerd thing. I can't believe I've never experienced it before. It's such a geeky thing to, to want to do. So, what is happening now? These are all the screws that I can take out. Okay, now that is that, is that off. Okay, I will have to put that back on. So this must just pop out. Yeah, okay, it does, check that out, it is popping out. Come on. Hey, click. Now this drive may be, may be slightly different to... It's, 
actually looks kind of wow, why is this so difficult? Am I missing something here? Or what? There's no extra screws under there. Hang on a second guys, I have just remembered one thing. Under the label here, there could be a screw holding the top on. Let's dig away at the label. Yeah, there's a screw up here. That's actually coming out, but I can't fully get it out. There we go. One more screw up on the top. I forgot about these ones hiding under the labels and boom, this comes off straight away. There's the cover and here's the drive, guys. Here it is, wow, cool. This is actually really cool. So, <laughs> cool. Right, what I'm gonna do is put this cover back on. I'm just gonna rest it back on so that we can put the PCB back on the bottom of the drive. Now, like I say, I've never taken one apart before, so I didn't know that you had to be wary of taking these off. But if we just put a couple of screws back in this, it should make connection and allow us to power up the drive. Just put the screw back in that's close to the actual connection. So the PCB is back on the drive and let's get the top off again. And what I'll do is I'll grab the camera off the tripod and we'll take a closer look at this guy. So here's the drive, guys. And as you can see, it's pretty impressive. It's my first ever time seeing inside a hard drive in person, like I say. Um, now, of course, this is the read write head. And this is the platter. Other than that, I don't really know what anything is. But wow, this is cool. So, I know that there, there are normally multiple platters like stacked up if it's a very high capacity drive but look how look how shiny and reflective that is you, that is just so cool this is really cool and yeah this is so cool obviously if you want to be keeping your data you don't want to be touching this but yeah um it's a molex drive as you guys can see so i'm going to power it up and let's see what it does. Now, because there'll be no OS, I assume it's just gonna spin up the drive. This is gonna move back and forth a couple of times, and then it's gonna spin down. I have, I'm not too sure, but it's pretty cool when the drive spins. It pulls that over. <laughs> yeah, okay, right, I'm gonna get the power supply hooked up and we'll see what we can do with this. So here's the drive connected via Molex. Here's the 24 pin connector, bridged up of course. You can use a paper clip or whatever, I didn't have one so I used a pin and I just cut a top, the top off of it. And here's the uh, PSU. So, first power up, got this tangled in my camcorder cable. Let's get the kettle lead, which is powered on at the wall, and plug it in, see what happens. There she goes. Hey, hey. It's amazing how loud that is without the cover on. And it's amazing how quickly that read right head can move. Just look at that. Now that is spinning at an incredible speed, of course. And it's spun down. Ah, we've still got power, so the driver's basically given up. Um, given up spinning, because it's got no data, obviously. But I suppose if we yank the power, it'll just power cycle it. And it may spin up again. Am I wrong? Do I have to wait? Oh, we're getting a bit of horrible static feeling off that. PSU. That's not good. Okay, just yank the power. Wait for the power to go. Here we go. This will power up the drive again. Spinning at an incredible speed, guys. You can't even see it spinning. get the cover and just rest the cover on the drive. And push it down. 
it's interesting, the spinning of the platter becomes quieter, but probably because the drive is damaged now, the clicking becomes a lot louder. And the driver's powered down again. Still spinning. Right, what I'm gonna do now, guys, is put a sticker on the, on the platter and we'll see how, how, if we can still see it when it's spinning. We won't be able to, but it'll be fun. So as you guys can see, I've stuck a red sticker on there. So I, I wanna see what it looks like when it goes around spinning. So let's power it up and see how quickly it disappears. Three, two, one, go. Neely. There we go. <laughs> Straight into a blur. Now I can actually just see a little red outline. You guys can probably see that. Isn't that crazy? It looks like the disc has got a slight pink tint to it. Just there. Can't see if I put my hand there. I hope you guys can see that on camera. That's just amazing. Yeah, you can see it there. Look, there's that red hoop. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And it's really complaining now. <laughs> so I've taken this really heavy cover off. I'm sure this is meant to do something. Let's see what it does without that. It was there. It still moves, so let's see what it does. Power up. Ah, interesting. It doesn't do a whole lot. That's interesting. Spins down straight away. You can see the sticker. I guess it can detect some kind of error? I don't know. Let's put it back on and see what it does. I've really upset it now, guys. I couldn't get this back on properly. It's interesting, the resistance. I don't know if you guys can hear that if I hold the platter. It wiggles back and forth. But if I... If I move this off. Whoa! <laughs> that was impressive. That was an impressive noise. Because that is now jammed. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can, I'm gonna see if I can unjam this. We're back up and running, guys. Pretty much. Um, let's just power cycle it one more time. Just so I can show you what it's doing now. This is so fun. I don't even know what any of it's doing, but... There we go, so... This isn't doing anything without this little back piece on it. So what I'm gonna do now now that we've had our fun, is I'm gonna try and unscrew the platter and see what's underneath. So, four torque screws out of the central, well, spindle, I guess you'd call it. And this top piece comes off. This comes off. And I assume, hell yeah, we can get the platters off. This is great. Um, now this thing's in the way. Let me just have a little bit more of an investigation here, guys. So guys, look at this. It just looks like a metal disc. Honestly, it just looks like a circle of metal. Even, you know, I know you can get drives that are terabytes and terabytes in size today and they've got multiple platters, but even this just fascinates me. 80 gigabytes of data, you know, videos, pictures, all that, just on here. This just, this just disc of metal. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna power it up now and see what it does with this screw out and, and God knows what. Last power up probably. Let's take a quick look. Sorry about the camera work, guys. Here we go. Power it up. Hide my face just in case any of it disintegrates. There you go, you can hear the motor. The motor's just spinning. If we wanna take a look at the motor then, We'll take out those further three screws and just take a look underneath. Three more screws gone. It's amazing how many screws come out of these things. And here we have it. Here is the motor. That spins the drive. JVC, check that out. This is cool, this is really cool. And now, of course, straight through the drive, there's just one big hole and the little tabs, you've got four little 
metal bits that attach from the PCB right there. From the, you know, this is where the controller and everything is for the drive. And that's where that's attaching straight through. And then this is attached via a little ribbon cable straight to the PCB. We'll just take out these screws for a laugh as well, I guess. So it's actually, I can't get this screw out, by the way, guys. It's not worth it. It's just that only extra little bit there anyway. Um, but what's really cool is the screw that I took out the top of this uh, reed right head, it kind of sits on this little spindle and it's such a smooth feeling. This is such a smooth motion. It's unbelievable. No wonder it can move really quickly. This is a giant magnet. This is really heavy and magnetic, so I assume that has something to do with keeping the torque or something correct. I really don't know how it works. Um, but yeah, this has just fascinated me beyond belief. And it's amazing how they can sell hard drives so cheap. You know, one terabyte drive is brand new for 40 or 50 pounds or maybe even less. I don't even know, but there's so much that goes into a hard drive. You know, even though these by today's standards are so damn slow and, you know, unreliable, um, you know, compared to things like SSDs and stuff, they're just so cool to look at. Um, I, I, I have found this fairly fascinating because like I say, it's my first time taking apart a hard drive. Um, so yeah, this does fascinate me quite a lot. I've seen it on YouTube, but there's nothing like doing it for yourself. So if you haven't done it, guys, um, I do recommend doing it. This this motor is, is fascinating me also. I like the way it just sits on those four little tabs down there. Literally just sits there and bobs your uncle. It spins like hell. It's absolutely great. So this is pretty much it from today's video, guys. I hope you found it um, enjoyable. Of course, it's not, you know, I'm not educating or, or teaching or doing any of that. I'm actually learning here myself, which I do on a lot of my videos. I'm just shocked at the amount of the how many screws that's come out of this drive and everything. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this, this video. And this channel isn't the type of channel where we smash stuff up and that. So I wasn't going to, you know, spin the drive up and whack it with a hammer or anything. I was just curious as to see how it worked. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just shocked at all the pieces and just how smooth and, and, and refined everything is, you know. It's just so cool. It's just really, really cool. Anyway, guys, before I talk your ears off anymore, this is obviously the last video. I'm, I'm like a kid playing with Lego now. This is, uh, this is the last video of this week. I hope you've enjoyed them. I've got some cool plans for next week, so please stick around. Stay tuned. I've got a vlog on Monday that I'm currently recording, so that'll be a good one. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for vlogs. This was uh, a dismantle of an old Samsung hard drive. I would like to take apart another hard drive in the future to see if it's any different, but I assume this is pretty much the same. I'd like to take, out a, uh, take apart a hard drive that has multiple platters, just so I can see how that works. So that'll be cool. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a brilliant weekend. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't enjoy, and uh, feel free to leave a comment, etc., etc., all that good stuff. And of course, I will see you in Monday's video, which more than likely will be a pretty cool vlog. Yeah.